Four years ago, I stood on this very beach and told you all the reasons you should switch to filming in 4K. And then in this past year, we switched back to HD. So let's talk about it. We switched to the GH4 after shooting side by side with our full frame 5D Mark III. And even with the smaller sensor, the images were way, way better. Five years from now, far more people will have adopted 4K. And I don't want their videos looking like they're watching those old VHS tapes that look all terrible nowadays. Justin and I started this channel in 2011, filming with the mother of all DSLR video, the Canon 5D Mark II. It was basically a manual focus only camera and the video quality was great for the time, but not great for now. In 2014, when the Panasonic GH4 came out and it shot 4K video, we switched everything over because I just immediately fell in love with the detailed video files, the various advantages like being able to crop in frame to simulate having multiple cameras when we were just doing a single camera shoot. It also cost us a lot too, not just buying the cameras and switching lenses, that was a small part of it. The bigger part of it ended up being all the additional storage space that we needed as well as backing up those files in case we wanted to remaster a video later, as well as having to upgrade our computers because technically we could use proxies and all that, but we just finally realized we needed bigger GPUs. And anyway, we definitely spent more than $10,000 switching from HD to 4K. I really thought the bump in our production values would be worth it because I thought you would appreciate it. If not in 2014, then later when everybody finally switched over from HD to 4K. Except there's one big problem, that switch never happened. 4K never took off. Sure, you probably have a 4K TV, I do, and we all have 4K monitors, but for YouTubers, when I look at the stats, what I see is about 3% of people are using 4K video. That's based on our live feed statistics. Most people, in fact, are using this to watch our videos, smartphones. Smartphones kind of are the reason 4K died. Even for those smartphones that have more resolution, the wireless providers often throttle the resolution back. So nobody's really benefiting from it, but it is costing us something. To hold that thought, let's arbitrarily change locations. One of the biggest challenges to us as YouTube educators is making fairly dry information visually interesting. And we found a camera that can help us do that. And unfortunately, it's an HD camera. Right now, I'm shooting this with no cameraman, just using the Canon EOS R and a 50 millimeter F1.2 lens but it's allowing me to do some tricks that I couldn't have done with any 4K camera. You've noticed I've been able to walk right up to you and it keeps me in focus, even in this really dim lighting. I've been able to move within the frame. Now, in Hollywood productions, they do that all the time, but they have full-time focus pullers, like people who are skilled and doing this for a living. And we have a cameraman, but we don't have a dedicated focus puller. So to have a camera that can do that is really valuable. But the fact of the matter is, I'm not using a cameraman today because Justin's on vacation and I'm still able to film. Could I have come to the beach and filmed myself with a Panasonic or a Sony? Yeah, technically, but it would have been much more difficult and neither one of those cameras does nearly good a job of tracking me while I'm moving around in the frame. Something else too, Canon for the R platform, they've released a couple of really fantastic F1.2 primes and filming this with a 50 millimeter F1.2 prime and it creates this gorgeous, rich background blur that conveys a feeling of higher production values because it's something that we've seen in really high-end movies all the time where they do have really expensive gear, but I'm able to do it for relatively inexpensive prices. So I established that very few of you are watching this in 4K, but nobody else is really making content in 4K. Sure, Netflix requires all new content to be in 4K, but if you watched Game of Thrones on HBO, it wasn't in 4K. And all the big YouTube channels are HD only. We're talking about not just PewDiePie, but real filmmakers, people like Casey Neistat. Even when camera manufacturers release promos for their new 4K cameras, usually they do it just in HD. It's like 4K is one of these things that everybody talks about and nobody really cares about. I really learned this for the first time when we were traveling on a press trip, probably to review some camera, and we needed to send the files via my cell phone back to Justin so he could edit everything. And I was concerned about the bandwidth, the 4K files would have been too big. So 
ah, I filmed everything in HD. I sent the files back to Justin and he said he was actually able to edit them much quicker because the file sizes were smaller and his computer had an easier time crunching them. And then he sent them back to me and I did some more editing and even on my little travel laptop, I was able to get the HD editing done whereas I know it would have choked on 4K files. And then we published the video and I cringed like, oh, this video is gonna get so many dislikes because it's not 4K. Nobody cared. No, not a single person mentioned it. No, nothing. And then we got back home and just continued doing things the way we had been doing in full 4K, 60 frames per second. And that continued up until like 2018 when Chelsea wanted to film herself doing something. She just didn't feel like setting up a whole production with a cameraman and everything. And she asked, do you have a camera I can use to just film myself? You know, something that will just automatically get me in focus and make it easy? And I said, well, yeah, we're testing this Canon 6D Mark II and it does a good job at that, but it's not, it's not 4K and we're a 4K channel. And she says, I don't care about the 4K. I just want my face to be in focus. So she grabbed the 6D Mark II and filmed herself. I have to tell you something and I want you to hear it from me before you see it on YouTube. And that's when you noticed. We got more comments on that video. Wow, what camera are you using? This is the most beautiful video you've ever shot. That hurt a little bit <laughs> because Chelsea had told me nobody would care about 4K and I didn't listen. I cousin Larried my own wife. <laughs> and so for that, I have to say, Chelsea, you were right and I was wrong. I should have listened to you, Chelsea. But it's never too late to admit that you've made a mistake and to cut your losses while you're ahead. And now we've sold off all our Panasonic gear and we're shooting pretty much exclusively with Canon gear. We've kept up 4K in our studio environment because we had fixed Blackmagic cameras. But over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be tearing that out too and putting in nice Canon cameras because frankly, they look better and they work better. I'd still rather film in 4K, but there is no full frame camera that gives me a side flip screen and this kind of beautiful dual pixel autofocus that only really Canon has. So for the time being, we're continuing with a Canon EOS R and a Canon EOS RP and our variety of nice Canon lenses and Maybe you should consider doing the same. I should clarify, we're not sponsored by Canon or any other camera manufacturer. We do this so that we can remain unbiased. And when I tell you that the Canon EOS R with its single card slot and no full width 4K and fairly limited lens selection, when I tell you that I think it's the best camera for vloggers who are filming themselves, you can trust me. I mean that and I'm learning it from experience. And I'm telling you that even though it means walking back my own recommendations a little bit. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Are we making a huge mistake? Did you notice when we switched from 4K to HD and do you miss it and how much do you care? Would you rather have the ability for me to move forward and back and stay in focus and maybe selectively blur the background when I want to? I know maybe I overdo it sometimes, but it's, it's fun, you know? And if you are a YouTuber or a filmmaker, what has the difference between HD and 4K meant to you? And how important is autofocus for your workflow? I, if you're somebody who does always use a cameraman for things like YouTube videos, would you ever consider maybe just doing it yourself to get that little extra spontaneity? Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in a channel that does look back and reviews their own recommendations and updates them as times change and technologies change. Thanks.